at this point in time, we're very pleased that the peer-reviewed article has been published and uh, we get more widespread um, scientists around the world looking at the, the data and adding their input as far as where we need to go from here. Uh, we've continued to follow the child, um, obviously, and she continues to do very well. Uh, there is no sign of the return of HIV, and we will be continuing to follow her for the long term. Um, we are hoping to have some um, studies going, perhaps enrolling patients by the end of this year or early next year that will follow up on this finding to see if we can replicate this outcome in other babies who are born at high risk for HIV infection. The findings are what they are. She started medicine very early. She came off of medicine at 18 months of age. She has since then not needed medicine because she's been, um, had no detectable virus replicating. And so that remains the same. Uh, I guess initially when we made the report uh, back in March, there was the immediate uh, overwhelming um, response around the world from primarily the lay press and um, that was pretty overwhelming. It, that had now has died down and as we've reflected and worked to develop uh, protocols that will tell us is this a finding that just happened in one particular baby or is this something that actually resulted from something that we did in this therapy? So is it something that we could um, do for other babies in the future? We are not identifying the child uh, and that is the mother's choice.